This is Jamie Dury, the handsome host of HGTV's The Outdoor Room, and he is a red carpet expert when it comes to outdoor entertaining. Jamie, thank you for joining us from Malaysia. That is my pleasure. It's actually about one in the morning over here, but it's never too late to give you fresh ideas when it comes to decorating your outdoor space. When you're looking at an outdoor space, what inspires you? How do you even get started? Well, if I'm looking at an outdoor space, I'm usually looking to the indoors for inspiration. In San Francisco, you guys have no excuse because it's all about living outside there. And, and, uh, and I'm going to start off with this beautiful outdoor kitchen. This is actually a really sensational space because I've just simply put a four burner barbecue into a lovely outdoor kitchen. I've got drawers and everything where I can keep all my, my little tongs and, and uh, all my condiments and everything. And the beautiful thing about this is when you consider that an outdoor kitchen has all the mod cons that you could enjoy inside the house, only it happens to be outside, cooking just becomes so much more fun, especially when you put a couple of seats like this and surround it with garden so you're never too far away from your mates. But it gets better when you actually serve it into an outdoor dining area just like this. So this is my outdoor living area where I've used a modular lounge suite, but you could use any one of the Lowe's collection from this summer or the Allen & Roth, whatever you like. And these little U-shaped seating areas can actually bring in great conversation to the outdoor space. So what you'll find that actually when you evoke conversation, people stay a while and then they're spending more time connected to gorgeous plants, the fresh air, the sunshine, all that sort of stuff. But if you're on a budget, you might just want to create something very simple and very quaint, just like this. I call it the conversation corner. Oh, I like it. Now, what about horticulture? You are an expert. So tell us about incorporating plants. What are you using? Well, I've used a whole bunch of syzygiums on the back row here. I've got potosperums. Um, I'm using some, co some conifers down on the lower plane. Um, I've used um, some fishbone fern. I've even got some lovely ginger, which I know you guys can grow in, uh, in some areas of San Francisco if you keep it in a nice protected spot. I look at plants, shapes first, species afterwards. And of course, if you can use your own native species that are native to your particular area, that is the very best way forward. You know, when you step down with larger plants down to these lower shrubs, you're creating what I call the amphitheater effect. And if you wrap it around garden spaces just like this, you'll actually feel like you're in that sunken secret garden that feels like it's, it's tucked away and it's just your own. But if you want to create one of these and you want me to come and do it, well, you can simply go to lowes.com forward slash Pinterest sweepstakes and I might just end up in your backyard building you one of these glorious outdoor rooms. That is excellent. Thank you so much for joining us on the red carpet. It's great to meet you. That's my pleasure, Mary Beth. All the best. Have a great summer and hop onto lowes.com for more info.